Uh, the Challenge Athlete Foundation is using sport to empower the lives of those with physical challenges. CAF co-founder Bob Babbitt and athlete Breezy Bohenik are here to share their, their I guess, their story together. Uh, Breezy <laughs> on the inside rail, Bob on the outside rail. Breezy, tell us about at age six you were in the hospital yes. and got a pretty... A uh, pretty scary diagnosis, did you not? Yes, well, I was nine years old, but oh, when so I was me. nine, I had a soccer injury and I was diagnosed with a rare form of bone cancer. Um, yeah, and it was weird as a kid, I actually didn't even know what cancer meant. I just knew that I was in pain and that it was not good, but then it wasn't long after that I met Challenge Athletes Foundation and I just made it through. All right, so I mean, that, that was a life-threatening diagnosis, was it not? Yeah. And it cost you a limb. Yeah. And then at what point does your, what, at what point do you meet the guy to your left? So I meet him not, not long after, but when I was going through it and seeing all my options, I saw a video of a challenge athlete woman, Sarah Reinertsen, and she's a big part of CAF, and she was crossing the Ironman finish line, first above me, female amputee, to do it. And that's why I had so much peace and so much hope about becoming an amputee. I was not scared at all. I was actually so excited. And so not long after I got my leg amputated, Sarah was at my house the day I got home from the hospital for my <laughs> amputation, like literally in my house, showed me all her legs. And then I got granted a running leg and started doing triathlons and met, met Bob. And Bob, nice of you to bring your uh, doll my with you. Friend. But this is this is not a doll. This is something more. This is very symbolic. Explain it. So it's it's really important if you think about it. If your uh, child loses a limb, all of a sudden, you know, every toy you see doesn't has look like two, doesn't look like you. You need yeah. something that looks like you. So one of the things that Sarah can did. Can you hold that up a little bit so we are there oh, sure. so we can see the okay. It's one of the things that Sarah did was she brought a Sarah bear. This is what these are called with a missing one leg for Breezy, so she had something that looked like her. Mm -hmm. So Breezy, uh, you haven't missed a beat. What, could you rattle off a few of the things you've done since becoming an amputee as far as your athletic endeavors are concerned? Oh my God. I, I just got into triathlon because I loved it and I thought it was so fun, so I did start training for an Ironman um, with my whole family and with a ton of people, so I've done a couple halves and um, went for the full and I've also done some surfing stuff, I've kind of done all over the map. Hiking. Hiking. Yeah, I mean, you've, you've, I mean, basically, you haven't missed a beat. Yeah. I, uh, right? I, I mean, was, yeah. Got right back into life, which was just such a joy. It was such a blessing. Were there, I mean, the moment when you wake up and you don't, you, you don't have a leg. Yeah. There has to be some sort of depression. Can you take us to that day? Or, or, or was it, or, are you just wired differently? I, I felt so much peace the entire time, and I, like, Knew it was going to be okay. I knew it was going to be okay, and I felt very cared for about my challenge athletes. Who do you that to? Is that just you, or is that to the people in your life? I mean, how did you have that? I kind of would attitude? say it's yeah. I've been so blessed um, by my community, and I, I have a very strong faith, and I felt very, very much protection over my life, and I knew that I was going to be okay. And, and then my CAF family came right with me. It was That's the other part about this, Paul. When we first started saying a triathlon challenge, which, by the way, is celebrating 30th anniversary on October 22nd, we didn't think we'd be putting on an event for challenged athletes. We thought we were putting on an event as a fundraiser for challenged athletes, but then all of a sudden, people like Breezy at, at, at 9, 10, 11 are coming there, and then she's meeting a community of other young women who are also missing legs. And, and how many, there's a group of like 10 to 15 of you yeah. who have become friends for life through meeting at Challenge Athletes at San Diego Triathlon Challenge and re realizing that there's other people out there like them. Yeah. And the reason why this is significant, the fundraising is so significant, because that leg right there, that, that's like a small car as far as yeah. the technology involved is, yeah. is out of this world, but technology costs money. Yeah, and you can't easily get sports equipment. It's just not covered by insurance. so. Running was always so important to me as a kid, but I, I didn't have to worry about being able to go back to it because of Challenge Athletes Foundation. Raising that money and being able to grant me that running leg changed my life and got me back into sports. And they've, they've taught me how to surf, they've taught me how to swim, bike, <laughs> run, do CrossFit, hike, do all the things. Like, I'm so- You realize you're sitting next to an angel, do you not? I know. Uh, I know. It, the coolest part was 10 days after getting her running leg, she did a triathlon. Right, we did yeah, wildflower okay. uh, I, it's, I mean, for it's most of us, able, you know, for, for all full limbed, if you will. I mean, just the thought of doing a f that. Swim bike run. Yeah, is like out of my world. I can't even fathom it, and yeah. so that's why you're. I, I guess we have to inter interview this interview. You, you, you don't probably even realize what a source of inspiration you are, though you've made it now. A part of your gig is to 
help other kids, right? Yeah. So there's your camera. Yeah. You've got you got the platform. Give it deliver your message, if you will. Who? I would just say it is such a such a blessing to really be alive and live and it's such a joy to have this life and even through hardship pain and struggles are not hard and because of family and because of community they can really lift you up and so for me losing a limb wasn't scary and it's honestly been the biggest blessing of my life to meet my challenge athletes foundation family and so i'm so thankful for all the support, I'm so thankful for good-hearted, kind-hearted people that have helped me along the way and just for family to wrap their arms around you and, and lift you up because there's nothing you can't do. Like nothing is impossible in this world if you put your mind to it and if you have a great community around you and that is what CAF is to me. And so I'm just very, very thankful to have gone through what I've gone through and to have lost my leg and met all the people that I've met. It's such a blessing. <laughs> How special is that? I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy, but I, I sure am glad I got to rub shoulders with you. Yeah. And I, I wish you continued success. And Bob, these stories are just pretty special, right? Yeah. Amazing. I mean, and you don't know are. where this young woman's going to be going. She's doing missions around the world, doing so much good stuff. God bless. And thank you for sharing your story. Thanks. I will put it up on social media as soon as I can. Coming up on our next.